Let's go back to the Midwest, Iowa. Troy, you're up next. Thank you for calling. Yes, I have a question. I get uh, liquid manure injected at my place from uh, a dairy close to me, and I was wondering about uh, uh, maybe uh, spraying agrotain over the top. Okay, I th he might be gone. We talked about manure, and uh, I'm not sure either you or Jimmy uh, want to want to talk about that one. Uh, the, the Agritain Plus, I would probably go with the Agritain Plus on the manure because uh, you're 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 trying to uh, not only control the volatilization but also keep that nitrogen in the avenotical form there. And uh, there's there's some information on the website there for him or anyone else that would have uh, have any any desires to know something about that. Very good. Now the caller said that <clears throat> that he was having the manure injected, and I don't know if he's getting oh. it <clears throat> into the ground and getting it covered up thoroughly. And if he is getting it into the ground and he is getting it covered up thoroughly, uh, the value we bring is not going to be as great as if he's putting it out on the surface. Okay. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of environmental questions there. Is any more with, the, with the applying manure? Not to get off on the subject here, but there's agritain can be of help if again uh, to someone who is using that as part of the fertilizer program, the, the liquid manure. So. Yes. Again, they can go to the website, and then that's, there's a question and an, or a, a, a section they might be able to pose that question yes. and get more information. Yeah, All right, we're uh, within 10 minutes, about seven minutes to go in the program here, so the hour does go quick. Let's see if we can get a few more calls in here before the top of the hour. Robert, thank you for holding. Uh, Robert is from Alabama. Thanks for your call now tonight. Uh, yes, sir. My question is, we're ranging on soil pHs from 5, 9 to 6, 6. With buffer pHs of 7, 8, and 7, 9 on a sandy loam soil. My question is we're getting ready to put in a corn crop and a cotton crop a little later on, and we're in dry land situation. And what we're wanting to do is to get all our nutrients out there in case we hit a dry point in the season to where we've got them there and activated in the soil. We're going to be disking them in. If we treat our urea, our total amount of nitrogen, with agritain and put it out pre-plant right ahead of the planter and disk it in, are we going to be able to see the full effects of it over the course of the year and it not leach out on our sandy soils? All right. Did you get all that, Jimmy? That, uh, he's got quite a plan there for the <laughs> yeah. spring, doesn't he? I prefer. Yeah. I, I pre personally prefer the uh, 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 split application. I, I think you get the closer you can get the nitrogen there when that crop needs it, the better off you are. Uh, there's no question that, that if you're going to put all your nitrogen out first, uh, Agritain would help you some. But if I had a sandy soil and a, and a low cation exchange capacity, I would definitely be splitting if I could work it into my, my program. He's the only one that can know what he can work in his program, where, that, where he can work it in that way or not. Okay. But that's, uh, that's my thought. Yeah. Any thoughts there, Dr. Harris, uh, to add? Yeah, um, and again, he said something about disking it, and again, like, like, like Mike said, if you incorporate it thoroughly, although uh, injecting and disking are different, you don't get it all incorporated. So, um, you know, anytime, if, it, if the recommendation calls for a split application, and again, uh, especially those later splits when, when, it, when it's hotter and more conducive to volatilization, he definitely wants to add it then. All right, good. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's go to Virginia. George, thank you for calling. Your question tonight. Thank you for receiving our call. Yes, sir. If, if all things are right in the soil, pH and P and K, and the moisture, and say for grass hay, would you be safe in applying 30% or less using urea and agritain? Trying to, again, we talked about cutting, controlling costs. It's not cutting costs, it's yeah. controlling costs. Doctor, you look like you're ready to <laughs> maybe answer George a little bit there. Yeah, it, it makes me nervous any time anybody starts cutting, uh, cutting their recommended rates of, of nitrogen. In this case, you know, uh, Agritain makes it more efficient, but, you know, we, we, we can't say that, you know, you, you can cut your rates. So uh, we'd really like you to use the recommended rate, and uh, it just helps you get, you know, get what you're going to uh, get out of the fertilizer. Um, you know, it, it, cutting the rates, you, you can't guarantee it's going gonna, it's gonna to produce the same. All right, about five minutes to go. Uh, getting down to that time here, let's uh, get at least one more call in. Greg from Oklahoma, you are next on RFD TV. Welcome. With poultry litter. Yes, and, Greg. And uh, we would like to see about adding poultry litter with the agritain. And as far as no till farmers go or over the grassland, or quite a few farmers want to disc it in. 
So what is your thoughts on disking it in or uh, for no-till application? Doctor, disking it in or no-till application? Yeah, I mean, no-till, you don't want to, we don't want to disk it in. I mean, that's the whole thing about no-till. And again, forages, um, just like with regular fertilizer, we don't uh, usually disk it in or incorporate it. So um, I, I, I'd really, I have not done the work myself on, on chicken litter, and we have a lot of it in Georgia, uh, but it, it is susceptible to volatilization. It's got urea in it, and uh, uh, in the no-till situation, I think you have to go to a, a product like, like Agritain. Um, you really want to avoid disking it in. All right, we're four minutes to the top of the hour here, so uh, any in callers, uh, we wish we could take one more call. Thank you for calling, and those of you on the line, uh, you might want to go to that Agritain website to ask your question there to the uh, experts uh, at the Agritain website. Uh, and uh, again, thank you for your calls this evening, Miss Ari. We couldn't get to you. We want to take our time uh, that's left here and uh, visit with each of you and leave some thoughts with our viewers. Uh, Dr. Harris, University of Georgia, great to have you here and looking at cotton and uh, looking at the forage products. Uh, closing thoughts you would have for our viewers. Yeah, thanks again for having me. And, and again, uh, if you're using urea-based uh, nitrogen fertilizers on crops like cotton and forages and uh, throughout the southeast, uh, especially if you don't incorporate it, can incorporate with irrigation, I would definitely consider a product like Agritain. Very good. Again, thanks for your information, and great to have you here. Don't be a stranger. We'll hope to see you again. Okay, thank you. Have a good season. All right. Jimmy Johnson, Director of Sales, Agritain International, and uh, son James back in Master Control. Did a great job, both of you tonight. Uh, it was great to have father and son together. Closing thoughts you'd have for viewers. Well, again, I, I thank you for the opportunity to be here and talk to your audience. And uh, appreciate the people who have been using Agritain, and we hope that the more people can, uh, can use it. And the uh, thought that I would like to say is that... Uh, Talk to these people like Dr. Harris and these people that have done the research, the people that have looked at the ammonia volatilization, and make sure that, they, that you're looking at a product that's doing what it says it should do. Agritain has done that, and, uh, and, and uh, we just ask you to look at those universities. They're doing the studies to help the growers know what, uh, what's the best thing to do. And if they've not used it on rice before, uh, you can tell them, you have said it before, but one more time, it will work on rice and they'll, it will pay for itself when we say that? Yes, sir. It, it, it works on any place that you are putting urea or UAN on the surface or you would like to. That's the thing that we, we were able to do. We've been able to allow people to do things that they never could do before, before Agritain came out. Very good. Jimmy, great to have you here. Thank you, sir. And Michael Stegman, uh, president of Agritain International, uh, also always great to see you. Uh, closing thoughts for viewers here tonight and your vantage point. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, and we really appreciate all the viewers that uh, do use our products. We know there's an awful lot of them, and um, this is going to be a, a great season. I think everybody's ready to return to something that's close to normal, and after 08 yeah. and 09, I think 10 is going to be a, a very good year for us. But uh, get out there early, talk to your fertilizer dealer. Make sure you've got your fertilizer lined up, get your Agritain lined up, and um, if there's anything we can do to help you understand how to use our products, visit our website, uh, give us a call. Uh, we want you to have success, and, and uh, so let Absolutely. us know. Absolutely, yeah. and uh, again, congratulations of uh, being uh, appointed to the Board of Directors for the Fertilizer Institute. That's uh, an important position, mm -hmm. uh, and I know you'll serve it well. And uh, congratulations and happy anniversary to Agritain, 10 years of uh, Agritain International. Thank you. We're looking forward to the next 10 and 20 and 30. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Michael Stegman, uh, president of Agritain International, Jimmy Johnson, director of sales, and Dr. Glenn Harris from the University of Georgia. Joining us tonight, talking about Agritain and Agritain Plus. We talked about corn, talked about cotton, talked about rice, alfalfa. It will work on any crop. So if we didn't cover your crop, go to that website, agritain.com, and get your question answered. We all hope that you have a great, great growing season. And and thanks for joining us here on RFD-TV, Rural America's most important network. Good night.